After more than 12 hours of debate, President Kaczynski won a reprieve when the opposition fell short of just eight votes of the 87 needed to force him out. Some parties abstained altogether, and other legislators changed their minds at the last minute. Even those from the right-wing majority Popular Force Party, who were behind the impeachment process. Kaczynski's minority political party expressed relief. I'm certain that from our side, there won't be any displays of pride. Quite the contrary, what there will be always is openness for dialogue. We don't want to go through processes that will be painful for our country. Meanwhile, the 79-year-old leader celebrated with supporters outside the country's Congress. Earlier on Thursday, Kuczynski presented his defense to the lawmakers in the chamber. I am here to look you in the eye and tell you that I am not corrupt and I have not lied. The political opposition accuse him of lying about business ties to this scandal-plagued Brazilian construction firm Odebrecht more than 10 years ago. Kuczynski denies any wrongdoing. But in an address to the nation on Wednesday, he asked the country for forgiveness. Disculpas. I offer apologies with a clear mind and a heavy heart. Apologies first for not having been sufficiently careful and organized in my business activities. Flanked by his two vice presidents, he also hinted if he was impeached, they would resign meaning new elections. In the space of two weeks, Peru has been thrust into a political crisis, leaving Peruvians wondering if they would still have a president come Christmas. Pedro Pablo Kuczynski can breathe a sigh of relief for now, but the investigations into his business past will continue, and the hostility of his political opponents shows no sign of letting up. Dan Collins, CGTN, Lima.